A lot of people, black scholars, especially black nationalist scholars, especially, will say, we lost all of this. But they won't admit that hip hop may be the refinding of what we lost. We don't know what we lost, because we lost it. But whatever we lost, if it was truly ours, then it is still with us. If it's truly whatever was going on in ancient Africa, Asia, even Europe, with us, is still happening today. It may have been sidetracked. It may have been stopped or altered uh, to a degree. But when the political climate became right enough for hip hop to reemerge in the early 70s, this could be what we lost. Here at the Temple of Hip Hop, we talk about hip hop as a strategy toward health, love, awareness, and wealth. And again, Whatever God has given us, we haven't really lost it. You can only forget it. You can't lose it. You only forget it. So in the scheme of following a spiritual thought in hip hop, it's not about gaining knowledge of something that you didn't know before. The practice has to do more with remembering what you forgot. When you try to remember what was forgotten, not only do you, did you not really lose what you had because you're remembering it is still with you, but most spiritual thought as well in the world has to do with what is called enlightenment and awakening. And that enlightenment and that awakening is a remembrance, not a new you. It's not a, all of a sudden I'm a new person or I've took something on to make me somebody new. You simply remember who you were. You are reminded.